tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about parsing a JSON response so uh, in my previous tutorial, tutorial we talked about retrofit and how to retrieve a JSON response from an API right so we have now uh, success successfully retrieved a JSON response from the API as you can see here okay uh, so now it's time to learn how to use the data that we have obtained so let's uh, learn about it so to do that we need to pass the json payload okay so this is uh, because the pay, uh, the json payload is a string uh, representation of the data object and we are uh, so we need to pretty much convert the the this json object to string so uh, to uh, string to object right the data object that we are precisely interested in so um so uh, what we are as you can see, if you uh, see uh, see here more clearly you will see that you have a uh, your json object uh, json string uh, consists of url which consists of a uh, uh, image uh, url right so we are pretty much uh, interested in this particular value uh, so, right so this particular image url so um uh, so first we need to uh, we need to pretty much convert this uh, JSON string to JSON ob uh, like to the data object right so um, uh, as you can see that like we uh, there are multiple libraries that exist uh, to parse a JSON payload okay so the most popular one is also uh, Google uh, JSON Uh, Google JSON. Uh, Google JSON is also a serialization or deserialization library. Uh, but we are going to use uh, not JSON, but uh, is uh, Moshi, which is provided by a uh, retrofit. Okay. Uh, Uh, let me go to the Moshi. Okay, as you can see here, square dot Moshi. Yeah. So uh, the another uh, very uh, lightweight uh, library uh, for par uh, parsing this JSON payload is called Moshi, which is provided by Square, and um, it's pretty lightweight and easy to use. So that's that's why we uh, I'm going to use this uh, to to demonstrate to demonstrate how to pass the JSON response. So uh, what does this JSON libraries uh, this libraries like uh, Mossy do? Okay, basically they help us to convert data class into JSON string. So this is uh, converting data class to JSON string is called serialization uh, when you pass the data to the remote server. Wherever wherever is when you are uh converting back from uh, json string to data classes you do deserialization okay and this is the process when we use uh, this uh, uh, res json response payload in our application okay so we do a deserialization then we uh, convert uh, by deserialization it means like we convert the json string to um, to data classes and then we use it in our application so this helps us to uh, pretty much um, like you know um, to use the meaningful data structure in our code okay so uh, let's go further so to use Mossy we have to uh, what we have to do is we have to implement a, as our library uh, in our gradle build the gradle file so let's go and implement the uh, library let me go to my build.gradle.api okay so this is a retrofit. fit so what I need to do is I need to implement the square of uh, So when you use JSON Mosi, we don't need you uh, need to use uh, the scholars converter. So we can pretty much uh, uh, remove this scholar converters. Let me just comment it for the moment because we are using mossy as a converter right so we don't need it anymore um, so because we don't need uh, we don't know we no longer uh, uh, need the response as a string so we just need to move uh, this no 
responses as a string so we don't need the response as a string so we don't need the scalar converters so uh, so when we uh, design our server responses data class we need to take okay so now we also actually need to design our uh, server responses uh, data class so when we we need to take two factors into account the structure of the json response and our data requirement so what we really need the first uh, will affect our data type and field names while the second will allow us to omit, omit the fields that we uh, do not currently need uh, so so for example like you know width and height we don't need it so we can just pretty much avoid that you know we are pretty much just need the image url right you know so uh, as you can see this json uh, string response and um, so you know json libraries pretty much ignore data in the field we are not we have not defined in our data class so pretty much it's ignored in this way okay so that's why uh, uh so this that's how we uh, can uh, design our server responses data class so uh, one more thing about the uh, json libraries uh, do for us is automatically maps the json data to field if they happens to uh, have the same exact name so while uh, there is a nice feature uh, if your field name is pretty uh, tight okay uh, to the api uh, tightly coupled to the api name then for example if you have like um uh, user data uh, let me create some example uh, data classes okay the get api okay so here we need to create a class called uh, models uh, and then here we, let me create a simple uh, example uh, uh, server response data class so uh, here let me just create a data class okay and it will be called user data okay uh, so here we can have field json to get the JSON yes because we need to pretty much uh, sync okay so now we are ready to use the name will be uh, first name is first name and uh, similarly we can have also a field which is uh, last last name you know uh, as you can see here in this json uh, like uh, uh, so the f uh, the field names are not so meaningful right as you can see here from what is provided by the api so so as you know that all apis are not so designed well so we might end up in the meaningless field names such as this fn or last you know so which is pretty much inconsistent right so there is a solution to the problem that is mostly provide us with a json annotation which is this field annotation that help us to map the json field name the field name with the uh, the meaningful field name that uh, of your data class right so this is the example and um, uh, this field name is pretty much used to ensure the generated Java field is annotated correctly. So uh, yeah, this is one of also the best practice to include the annotation even when the API name is the same as the field for the sake of consistency. So we prefer to concise. Uh, we prefer the conciseness of uh, direct conversion when the field name is clear enough. So uh, this is uh, what we uh, uh, we need to do. Uh, 
and uh, okay so uh, yeah let's move further uh, about how to design our uh, data class for uh, for this uh, particular uh, JSON response that we are getting is um, as we uh, just need the we need the image URL right so so we gonna create the model as uh, what it says so let me create a data class which is called uh, image data which pretty much consists of field uh, uh, JSON, uh, which is URL, and I can say image uh, URL, and it's pretty much a string. And uh, we also actually we can ignore uh, the width and height because we don't need that. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we just only need an image uh, URL, right? And actually, it's an array of a. As you can see, it's an array of this image URL with width and height. Uh, so, uh, uh, let me see. Is a. create another data called uh, cat response data which is pretty much a uh, cat list list of uh, uh, a list of uh, cat image data and what we have to do is now pretty much we need to change our uh, so uh, our endpoint you know so we are not gonna our search images this uh, method for getting the images uh, will not return a string but it will be returning a list of uh okay so actually it is gonna return so we don't need this uh image data uh, so we don't need this uh cat response data because we can pretty much okay let me delete this because we don't need this what we can do is we need pretty much uh, we need to pass the list of uh, uh image data right okay so uh, here what we need to do is we need to use the mosi library so let's go and use this mosi lib converter factory okay which will pretty much uh, returns the object so now our callback also will be uh, pretty much a list of um, it will return a list of uh, you uh, image data uh, it will be list of image data uh, image data okay uh, image data and uh, finally uh,
image URL, you know, just we need to pass the image URL. And in case of null, uh, just pass the empty. And uh, list of image. Uh, okay, so it's gonna. Uh, okay so uh, yes uh, uh, what else we can do is uh, we can say no URL was returned and similarly we can also uh, change anything and changes in the activity uh, okay, so this is not being implemented at all. So let me run the application Voila guys, so we have this URL right, you know, which is pretty much getting we have deserialized the uh, the JSON string into uh, our uh, Image data data class right so this is uh, all about uh, json uh, parsing i mean uh, uh, parsing a json response or you can say also parsing a json response or you can say serialization and deserialization actually we did a deserialization to pretty much use the um, the particular data uh, the field that we uh, we we were uh, we uh, it was necessary for us to in our application in that in our case it was a URL right so hope uh, everything is clear for you guys and it's pretty obvious and pretty simple about parsing a JSON response uh, using this uh, Mosi library and thank you very much and catch you up in the next lecture guys thank you.